Hey mathematicians, let's talk about something very important in your ratio final answers, how to simplify them. Almost all of the questions that you get on ratios will ask for the simplified final answer. So let's learn how to do that. Okay, ratios can be simplified to their simplest form. So we see a ratio here, it's got a bunch of triangles, a bunch of hearts. If we counted them all up, we can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten triangles. Ten triangles to every three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen hearts. That's our ratio. But oh no, the question does not have that listed as an answer choice because it asked us for the simplest form of our ratio. How do we fix that? Okay, so simplifying is like what we used to do with fractions. We look for a common factor. Um, well, I can see, you can kind of see these. Do you see how these are broken into groups? It's nice if it's a picture. It's pretty, it's, well, it's not pretty easy. It's uh, easier when it's a picture. You can kind of count them out and be like, oh yeah, these all look like same ratio. Two triangles to every three hearts. Yep, here that works, here that works, here that works. Oh, it kind of looks like a funny face. Here that works. Okay, cool. So your simplified ratio is two triangles to every three hearts. Now, what do we do if there's no picture? Okay, I prefer to do it in fraction form. You can choose if you'd rather keep it with the colon. I would say, let's look at it like this. Hmm. I'm going to think to myself, what, what factors do 10 and 15 have in common? Think way back to like the factor rainbows. You can even go off to the side and say, okay, well, I know that 10 is made up of 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. And I know that 15 is made up of 1 times 5. No, nope, not 1 times 5. <laughs> 1 times 15. 2 times nothing. 3 times 5. And you can say, oh, hey, I found my greatest common factor. Remember those? It's five. You can see over here that I broke this bigger picture up into one, two, three, four. Ooh, five equal groups. Hmm, okay. So then when you simplify, you're going to divide both parts of your ratio, or if it's in fraction form, both your numerator and your denominator, by the same greatest common factor. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Huh, kind of like the 2 right here. Hmm, what do you think 15 divided by 5 is? Ooh, it's 3. Remember that these are hearts, these are triangles, 2 triangles to every 3 hearts. That's how you can simplify without a picture. If you're like, no, I love the pictures. If it was 10 and 15, it wouldn't kill you to draw that. But if it was like 115 and some other crazy big number, you probably wouldn't want to draw that out. You'd want to have a strategy like this one. Okay, so a ratio is simplified when the only common factor left between the two numbers is the number one. Remember that we said that our simplified ratio is two triangles to three hearts. Two is made up of one times two. 3 is made up of 1 times 3. They're both prime numbers, just one factor pair. And you can see the only common factor is the number 1. If I divide 2 divided by 1, I still get 2. If I divide 3 divided by 1, I still get 3. So that's not simplifying it anymore. That's how I know I'm done simplifying. 